I'm just going to quickly show you my art project for today. It's a pretty simple one. And I, like I said, when I read the story, I'm going to use the pictures of the Beatles from the book that I read today to inspire our art, art for today. So let me go ahead and show you my paper down here. So I drew with pencil first the rainbow stag beetle because I thought that one was really pretty. So I'll show you here in the book. This one is the rainbow stag beetle. And as I always say at school, I always start with pencil. So in case I make any mistakes, which I did a couple on the, along the way, I made some mistakes. <clears throat> you can always erase it. Next up, we're gonna take a Sharpie or any black marker will work and give it a nice, really solid outline of all of those parts. And although all beetles have six legs, you can't see all six legs in my picture just because of the way that the beetle is facing. So it's okay if you don't include all of them. The other two legs are hiding kind of behind his body there. And then once you do the outline, I'm gonna use watercolor because I, when I looked at the book, I thought, hmm, these pictures look like they were painted with watercolor. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add a couple of little details. Remember the beetles have this hard set of outer wings. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that detail in and a couple of little lines here and there, maybe a dot, because these beetles, one of the things that makes them so beautiful is not just that they're super colorful, but they have these really unique markings and patterns on them. So I'm gonna go through and add some lines and details with the black marker so that when I paint over it with the watercolor, those black lines will shine through and add an extra little element to it. So there's my outline for it. Next up after that, I'm gonna go grab my watercolors and I'm going to paint this and I'll show you the final product. So I grabbed my watercolors and I went ahead and painted my rainbow stag beetle. And like I always tell you when we're using watercolors, I really didn't use too much paint. It was about one or two dabs in the paint and then lots of water. You can see that I kind of blended the colors together and mixed them together on the back of the beetle because that's kind of what it looks like in the picture in our book and on the actual beetle is that they kind of blend those colors together. So remember, lots of water when you're using those watercolors, blend the colors together, mix them together for some of these colors, I actually mixed blues and greens, blues and purples. I mixed reds and oranges together to make the different colors. So you don't just have to stick with the colors that are in your palette. Mix them together and see what new colors you can create to create your little insect picture. Have fun with it, guys.